Hi, so there is a reason that people pay to get their hair done professionally and I am exhibit A. <laughs> I uh, did my own highlights this uh, th today and I had done it once before um, and was actually really happy with the results and this time I blew it and I'm off to ask for help. <laughs> from my stylist in Beverly Hills. So please save me. Hi, Wendy Kay. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, so I, I'm actually shooting this because uh, it'll be gone tomorrow and there will be no evidence left. So I'm just getting it on camera. And so actually I can see better at this distance without the glasses. Holy crap. Um, so this actually brings up something that I talk about a lot as a coach, which is the benefit of baby steps, incremental change, big, massive action, noble gestures create this. And, and what happens is then we fix it. <laughs> and this is not true just with hair. This is with every time we take a step that is too big and we overshoot. And we don't get the result that is in line with our competency. And actually there are a ton of coaches out there who will tell you to go big and take massive action and politics too. We had two candidates from 2016. One is currently living in the White House who were all about like tearing down the government that we have you know, ripping up NAFTA, ripping up all of our trade agreements, ripping up all of our laws, ripping up our Environmental Protection Agency, ripping up our educational department, ripping up everything, including the Supreme Court, as if that's a good thing. And it's not. And incremental change is less exciting, less sexy, but it creates better results. We have a gap. Oh, Wendy lost me on too big a step. I'm not sure what that means. Um, like, this was too drastic. I left it on too long. I did too much. I really am not competent to be doing my hair like highlights at all. So when coaches have you do things that are beyond your competency, like um, I would say, yeah, yeah, yeah fail forward totally totally fail forward get out your get out of your comfort zone uh be willing to be imperfect imperfect action is better than perfect paralysis but when you take imperfect action make sure that it's action that you can recover from thank goodness i colored my hair instead of tried to cut my own hair because that would have been a lot harder to recover from. So this, I can survive. It's it's <laughs> crazy horrible, but um, I can recover from it. And I did too much. I did too many. I left them on too long. So that's what I'm talking about, too big a step. And when I'm talking about translating that into the world, incremental change, you get to take a step and test your weight and see if the ground is solid. And then you take another step test your weight, see if the ground is solid, what the unintended consequences are, if anything needs to be adjusted, and then take another step. Take baby steps. Take baby steps because you get more done. You get so much more done the smaller the steps you take. And when you need to pivot, change directions, go backwards, you don't have as big a step to go backwards. Like tomorrow is going to be an uber expensive day fixing this and I'm really grateful that I have the cash and I have the person that I trust to make me look human again um, but I also wanted to share because actually it's kind of cute and the danger is the longer I live with it I'll actually start to like it so <laughs> I would rather have something that looks like possible within the realms of possibility in nature and that this is not it. So, um, welcome to my, you know, highlighting my hair at do-it-yourself disaster. Um, 
and this too shall pass and my poor hair and you know don't make my mistakes know your competency get the help that you need it and take baby steps incremental change instead of like crazy step off a cliff and then clean up the mess especially when you're running a country um so that's it for now namaste permanent record of my science experiment and uh hopefully i'll look normal again tomorrow bye